So I was just watching TikTok and like, I was just like thinking about like movies and how we're meant to be like flying cars and like supersonic like jet engines and we'll be flying to different d d dimensional space times and stuff. But do you know what life is like today? Life is like a successful Minecraft world. That's what life is like right now. The netherite armor, the the prot four. We got the bulletproof armor. We have the good structures that 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 farm resources and and stuff. Like we have all the all all, all the farms. We have all the the technology that we need, like all the redstone and shit. That's what we have right now. And you know why the world isn't advancing yet? Cause there's nothing else to it, and we always run out of resources. Like like uh, uh, apparently the world's running. A, out of sand and if you wonder why that is because sand is made up of rocks sand is made up of teensy tiny little rocks that are that are ground up into small enough to where it's sand and we're running out of that and that's like a minecraft world you know you got to travel far distances to to find it but it's not infinite so we run out of uh, out of resources you know that's this is what life is like a minecraft world and until we find some other dimension or world, we're screwed. Like, Elon Musk is trying to bring us to Mars, right? What the fuck is on Mars? He, now, we, now, he said that he has to heat up the planet for, uh, for it to be livable. And the fast way, and now there's a fast way, and there's a slow way. Now... He was he 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 was interviewed. I forgot by what by by what guy it is, but um, he was he was interviewed, and the guy said. He he asked him what's the fast way of heating up Mars, and he said, it's by launching a thermonuclear bomb at the poles, at the North Pole and the South Pole of of Mars. Now it makes it livable. Then what? Then what? What resources are on Mars? Sand? That's it? Red sand like the Badlands? Then we die because there's nothing else to life? We just eat potatoes and corn and then we die? <laughs> like, there's most likely no resources there. It's probably just all redstone, sand, no, sorry, like, it. it's most likely all sand. Like, that's probably what it is. It, it's probably all red sand. Like, I get that it's a whole world, but there is no water on Mars. And you know what's crazy? How we're going to all die eventually before 100% of the ocean, of the Earth's oceans are found. And you want to know why that is? Because we're not going to advance do you know how we advance, like, in the movies, if there's a perfect world? We are nowhere near that perfect world where we have flying tech. Nowhere near. Nowhere. Like, I mean, like, on the advancements of, 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 of our world, we are probably at, like, average. To the movies out there where we are, like, flying cars, we have trains faster than than elon musk's bullet trains or whatever he has like shit that flies out into space and you don't even need like professional astronaut licenses or whatever and training where you can fly out into space and it's legal we we are just so average on the scale of advancements and now you might be wondering well how the hell do you know that like if we think that that we are gonna one day compare ourselves to the movies we are average, honestly. Like, honestly. Like, how long have, have we been on Earth? Very short time. It might seem long. What is it? A, like, 600 mi No, sorry. What is it? Like, 100 million years? 400 million years we've been on this planet? No, that's like dinosaurs. Would it be 10 million years on this planet? I don't know how long, but it's a short time. It might be like 400 million. That's not a lot of time. If you compare it to how old the Earth is, that is like... 
this. That is like this. That is tiny. And look what we've done. We're killing our planet. We're running out of resources. And when we do, we won't be living. And you want to know why we are running out of resources? Because we make the most useless, unnecessary shit. We make the most dumbass shit on this planet. Because of our satisfactual needs. Like, we are the highest... No, sorry, we are not the most... Well, we are the most in intelligent, con like, cognizant being. Like, at least I think that's how I put it. Um, I think, well, at least that's how I think I meant, meant, meant to put it. Like, some animals don't know that they're conscious because they're not smart enough to actually understand that. But I don't know. I think, like... I don't, I, I don't think we're the only being, but we're the only being smart enough to understand what that means. And we're the only being smart enough with our mind to do what, what we do. Yet, look what we've done. We're killing our planet. Very quickly, too. Um, very quick, quickly. And we're running, and we're running out of resources. We're, we're, we're gonna move to Mars, then what? We're gonna be fucking planet jumping? What is this, a video game? Yeah, planet jumping and, uh, until we drain the resources to, until it's nothing. And what if there... What if there aren't resources on Mars? Like, what if there isn't, like, diamonds and gold? What, what is everybody gonna do? Because we need our luxury items, right, guys? We need our luxury items. No. We, we don't need that. We don't need jewelry. We don't need makeup. We don't need half the shit. Most of the shit we have on this planet. You know what we need? A sustainable food, 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 food stores. Honestly, I would say we don't need cows or chickens. But if, if you put it in perspective, do you know how hard living a vegan life would be? This is going off, off, off topic a little bit. So like the vegan life. People say be vegan, don't kill animals. Do you know how, like, in, in their mind, they, they, they think that the whole world should, should go vegan? Do you know how bad that, that would be for the world? Hundreds of millions people would die. Trying to sustain a, a vegan lifestyle w without meat? There's factories out there, like chicken factories, like, pumping out a thousand chickens. Like... All the time, like in days or something, or weeks, they're pumping out. No, in like days, pumping out thousands of chickens. Do you know how long it takes to, to grow a single crop? It's like maybe, I don't know, a few weeks or something. We're screwed. Doesn't even matter if, it, if it's a few weeks. If we're pulling in 500 chickens a day, we're set. We are set for life. And yet, some people around the world still don't get food. Imagine that. People around the world still don't get food and starve out. Yet, people are saying we should go vegan and grow crops around the world. It's hard enough with using most of the food sources that we have. If people want us to go vegan, what, are we going to eat fucking leaves for, for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Every day, all plant life would die if we did that. And then, like, even if we did turn all of this factory land and, like, every factory out there that has, like, chickens, cows, pigs, everything. If we turned every one of those factories in, into croplands with, like, potatoes, corn, veggies, vegetables, I don't know, we still wouldn't survive. A portion of us would, but most people wouldn't survive, because that's just not enough. Most of the country, oh no, sorry, most of the states and s little cities and stuff and little and little towns, they would die out fast, fast, fast as hell. Okay, back to the world dying. Um, yeah, most of the stuff that, that, that we think we need, no, sorry, we don't think we need it, we just want it. Like, we are, like, we are smart enough to make all of this shit happen for us, yet, like, look what we've done. 
Like, we have made the most useless shit ever. Like, we make candies. We make snacks. We make... Like, we don't need that, dog. We don't. Yet people would go nuts. People would go rogue if we didn't have most of the, the, the shit we had now. If people ha- had ha- had to live off steak and corn... Okay, honestly, people would, would probably do that. But... If they couldn't chow down on a nice fucking pizza, they would be like, what the hell? What the, what the fuck? You know why? Because we're retarded. We're stupid. And we want the most useless thing all because it tastes good. All because it's like satisfactorily pleasing to us. We would rather please ourselves because, oh, I don't care about dying. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, yes, you do. I don't care about dying, bruh. If death was upon you, you would do anything to live. And that's also a a topic I'm going to get onto in a few seconds here. Damn, I'm ranting about life at 1.50 at night. Okay. Do y'all, like, ever, like, wonder? I'm going to say, do y'all ever, like, realize how fucked up we are? How we will do anything for our life? Like, just to keep ourselves from dying for for eternity, we will do anything. Literally anything. We would kill... Some people wouldn't do anything. There's a very small amount of people who would actually... Who would actually do nothing. Like, they might run or something. But, like, there are some people out there who would kill their whole family just to live. Oh, they're going to die 20 years' time. Eh, why not speed up the process a little bit? There's some people out there who are just like, fuck you, goodbye. You, you could have a relationship of, like, like, 50 years with your best friend forever, and you would shoot him in the head because you have to live. Some people would. Now, best friend and family... Two different things. Some people... Now, when it's the decision of killing your family... Or the... Best friend. Oh! The girlfriend. Oh my god. When people choose girlfriend over family... (coughs) (coughs) Wow. That, like, actually, like... That baffles me. And, like, coming from a guy who, who who doesn't have one, it's a hard decision. And it's, like, either take... It's it's, it's either keep the girlfriend alive, kill, kill, kill the parents who will die in 20 years' time, or keep the girlfriend who could break up with me right after I save her, never talk to me again, I have a dead family because of her, and she's gone with some rich asshole. I, you might be like, Vincent, it would st- you would still probably pick your girl. No. Vincent, you would still probably pick your... No. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't at all. Bye, left in the dust. Bro, I am sorry. I met you. You didn't fucking birth me and raise me. Goodbye. There's someone else out there. All right? And even if they were the one. Bye. Damn. What? What if they just, like... Like... What if they just break up with me or something? Or what if they die, too? Okay, well, that's different. And if, besides, even if I did choose choose a girlfriend, that'd be fucked up. Because it's either the parents who will leave, who will die in 20 years, or it'll be the girlfriend who will leave me in seconds. And take everything. Everything. Gone. Money. House. Bye. Homeless. On these streets. Dead parents. Never getting a frickin' job. And I'm gonna die alone on the, the streets for scraps because I decided to kill my family to save a girl who 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 left me for Andrew Tate in Mexico. Sorry, in Romania. No. Goodbye, girlfriend. I will save my parents. Now I don't think I would like if like say somebody like say I I I did say my my girlfriend though over my 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 my, my parents I would don't think I'd ever get over the trauma of that like actually like like, like going through that decision 
that's like crazy. Like, I would be trauma. Like, I like, like I'd be traumatized for life. One of my twenty years old parents are parents are are gonna die a few years time. Just killed them off for a girl. Holy shit! Never live that down ever. Then the whole Earth explodes. Move to Mars. Spend, like, four years. I don't get this. Elon Musk says move us to Mars. What fucking idea is that? Move a hundred people to Mars. Takes four years. Watch the Earth explode early because your calculations were wrong. Everybody's dead except for a hundred people. And yourself. Because your calculations was off. The whole earth just ex- explodes. The shock waves knocks you off course. Drifting in space forever. Because you thought you, 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 you had 20 years. Because you thought you had 24 years. Now everybody's dead. All the resources gone. Nothing to like learn from. No stone. No nothing. No, no, no iron, no resources, to my knowledge, anyway. It's not like it's on the local news. Holy shit, diamonds found on Mars. Shit, all the girls are rushing there. Because we need our jewelry. We need to impress the guys and show the girl. Oh! No. No, no. But yeah, uh, uh. I think next video is going to be a Valorant video. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, also, another topic real quick. Sleeping. What the fuck is sleeping? Like, do you guys ever realize that, like, sleeping is nuts? Like, you sleep... Like, but, like, most, like, like teenage boys sleep for, like like, 15 hours... Okay, sorry. Let me rephrase. They stay up until 6 and wake up at like... What is it? 5? They sleep 9 hours, 10 hours, 11 hours. Wake up at 7. Go go, go to bed at, at 6 a.m. Wake up at 7. That's 11 hours. That's... N- wait. 7... 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 13, oh wait, that was kind of obvious, 13 hours, 13 hours, some boys sleep that long, especially heavy sleepers, do you want to know how, how much time that is for that person though? Boom, 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 it is over like that it is like 6 a.m 7 a.m sorry 6 a.m 7 p.m boop boop it's 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 done you you go to sleep but if you have a dream though that's different but the dream it takes longer but it also feels like it's going by super quickly that dream looks feels like it's going slow but then you start to like but then you start to like look back like because if you don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's when you can essentially control your dream. It means you're awake while you're asleep. It means I'm sleeping, but I'm awake in the dream I'm having while I'm sleeping. And if that doesn't make sense to you, well, <laughs> there's no there's no other way to, to explain it. You go to bed. It's one o'clock in the morning. You're still asleep. You have a dream. You're awake in the dream. Boom. Done. That's lucid dreaming. And since you're awake in the, in the, in the dream, you can, you can basically control it, I guess. Now, if you've ever had a... If, if you ever realize that you're dreaming, sometimes your, your body will wake you up because it's like, why? It's like, holy shit. I'm a, it's like, holy shit, you're asleep. Wake up. Um, I've had that a few times when I was lucid dreaming. I was... I was strolling along, just how, just having a walk, and I just started to realize that I went to bed a few minutes ago. 
because it felt like minutes to, to me because I I had a dream like probably like three hours later, but it, but it felt like minutes. And I realized I don't remember getting my dogs ready or walking from my house to, to the middle of a random trail. And where am I? And I realized there was nothing around me. It was just a, 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 a endless sidewalk. I'm not kidding. It was a fence here, a fence here, and just a sidewalk. That, that that went forever. I mean forever. Like, and since I was lucid dreaming, I could give myself like, like, like powers. Like, I could control the dream. So I just gave myself super speed and just... And it never ended. And then, well, it, it actually did end. It was just like a wall of darkness. It's like, it's kind of like the Minecraft, like, end. It's, it's like the, it's, it's like the Minecraft end dimension. It was just a wall of black. And then I started crying because I ran away from my dogs, and then I ran back to where I was, and they, and they disappeared because I didn't have full control over my dream. And then I realized, wait, oh shit, I'm sleeping, and I just woke up, and I panicked. I was like... <gasps> <gasps> and do you guys ever have that like dream where you hit something, and it hurts, and then when you wake up, it you can feel where that pain was? Like, you don't net net necessarily feel the pain, but it's like, it, it's, but, but it's like a tingle. It's like you can feel where you were hurting. That's annoying. That actually pisses me off. Like I don't know why. It it just makes me like like annoyed. Like not even the fact that I I'm feeling hurt. It's just the fact that like I don't know. It's just like just so random. But how? But how? That's what annoys me. The how and like the how. How am I feeling it? But then I realized, in The Flash, there was an episode where the Sage Force stepped in. And he puts a thing, ringy-dings, in your mind where it makes you play your worst fears. And Barry's and Barry Allen, The Flash, worst fear is a reverse Flash and Savitar. Now, Savitar used his blade to stab Barry through the heart. When he came out of that mem when he came out of that fear dream there was an actual hole in his chest outside of the outside of the dream and caitlin caitlin said this your body was in a state of something something that it convinced itself that those things were really happening it convinced itself to hurt itself it thought what was happening to Barry was so real that it made those events real. It made it it physically injured the human Barry's body physically hurt itself because it thought what happened in the mem in the dream was really happening. Now I started thinking, what if my mind thought that too? What if my mind really thought that I fell from the sky? And it replayed, sorry, and it co convinced itself of that pain. It felt the pain in my dream, so it convinced itself so much that that was happening that it reenacted the pain in my body. Now, I'm no scientist, and I don't, like, I don't really, like, search this shit up, like, oh, like, this is probably real. There's pro like this has probably been 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 proven already where your mind can make certain events that hasn't happened happen by convincing itself so much. But if it isn't, it makes sense because it's not like it's going to reenact a fall because if it did, I'd fucking shatter every bone in my body. But because but I mean, it can reenact pain, the pain re 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 receptors in your body. That might be one thing that it can convince itself of. You know, and it, and it wouldn't be hard either. It's just a simple reaction of your nervous system, and it just plays out pain. Now, falling from the sky—that's a different story. But a little bit, but about a little bit of pain, a little bit of hand hitting a rock or something, it could replay that because it's simple. There's a lot of chemistry and shit involved, but I mean, like, it's simple for the body. Yeah, it's. Oh my god. <sighs> How do I get out of this? How do I get... Okay, I'll just wait then. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to end this rant. 
Probably post the raw footage too. I'm not sure. Some of it's a little bit con con confusing, and I'm sorry. Whenever, whenever I go on, on a rant like this, I I I try to make myself sound smart a little, a little bit by like saying shit, and sometimes I like think of it in my in my mind, and it and it sounds smart, but then I I I I hear myself milliseconds later. I'm like, wait, that didn't make sense. And it's also 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm sorry if I'm saying shit. Oh, God. That's also sounds something, too. How people, when they're tired and they start fumbling words, it sounds normal t t to them. To, like, some people, it sounds normal. You know what? No. I'm just going to stop. If you guys want to let you enjoy, like or sub 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 subscribe. Either one's amazing. We are at 56 subscribers. Fucking nutty. That is nuts. Like, that is for, that is cuckoo for coconuts crazy. Um, yeah. And we gained six subs, wait, no, wait. We gained six subscribers in the, in the last 28 days. Now that is cuckoo for coconuts crazy. <coughs> so if you guys want to enjoy, make, make, make sure to leave a like or su subscribe. We are at 56 subs and we are on a road to 60. And then from then on to 70. And then from then on to 80. And then from 80 to 100. Once we have, have 100, I'm going to be doing something crazy. Like, I mean crazy. 100 the milestone, baby. Okay. There's actually one thing I, more I, I want to rant about. I have around 230 videos posted on this channel. That's crazy. Like, I wonder where they are out in the world. Like, um... <sighs> I, I went to my channel ana analytics, and most of my viewers aren't from Canada. Wait, am I stupid? Is the UK in Canada? Fuck. It's 2 o'clock, you can't believe me. Okay. Some of my viewers are from the UK. I don't know which UK. It could be Ukraine. Wait, no. The wait. Is the Ukraine called the 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 UK or just Ukraine? There's the United Kingdom and there's the Ukraine. But I don't know if Ukraine is is UK for short. Cuz it wouldn't make sense. Whatever. Fuck. Some of my viewers are, are from the Ukraine. Some of my viewers are also from India. And then some of my viewers are also from... Um, I forgot elsewhere. It's from, like, Greenland or something. I don't know. And also, this is a bonus. 57% of my viewers are female. Which means I am a ladies' man. I am a ladies' man. Respectful ladies' man, though. I'm not like those idiots, but... Yes. The women love me. What can I say? 57% female, baby. Yes, that is... Uh, yes, that is... Uh, 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 wow. That is accounting for the four views I get on most of my videos, but... That's based off of subscribers, not... Viewers. Oh, wait, no, it is, it, it is about viewers, but I average about 1K to 800 views on my shorts. Not on all of them, but some of them have that much. Wait, so that means I don't average that. Fuck. And that's probably what it's based off of, some of my shorts that just randomly blow up. Um, the first shorts, I think I, no, it, it wasn't the first shorts, but I, I think it was the first proper shorts. Most of my shorts that I've made in the past weren't meant to be shorts. They were meant to be YouTube videos, but YouTube didn't let me put it into a, into a video because it thought it wanted it to be a short video. So it just made it a shorts video, and then I had to post it as that. And I didn't really know what shorts videos were then, so I just po posted whatever. And then, and then once I actually went onto shorts, once it became like a, a, a added pinned thing on, on YouTube, I started scrolling through it and I was like, damn, I should, I should do this about something. And then I did, and it got fucking 2k views, so you know, it was pog. And y'all want to know something else before the video ends? 
we have 12,000 views on the channel alone. Pog champ, first of all, I just want to say that is a Pog champ moment right there. 12,000 views and 230 something videos, baby. Or maybe higher than that. It might be like 240 or 250, I don't know. I have posted a lot of videos. I am that I have that rise and grind mindset, baby. Wait, no. Yes, I got, it's not a rise and grind. It's it's kind of just a post when I feel like it. And you know what this video is right here? It's because I don't want to post a Valorant video right now. Cuz usually I just post a video and after that I'm satisfied. Even if it's a, even if it's a short video, I feel complete for the day. Even if it's like five seconds, okay, maybe I'll post some, like something else then. But usually, whenever I post anything on my channel, that's it for for for, for the day. That is a content for the day. Even even if it's like thirty seconds, that is content for the day. And you want to know why? Because that brings people to my channel. You see the shorts? Click on my channel. See what the see what my videos are. Boom! Watch a few videos. Boom! You're done. Because I, I have had times where I thought YouTube was the most important thing ever. And I was like, oh my god, I, ha I, I have to post. And I was like, oh my god. And I, w I was at this certain time in YouTube where I was like, um, I have to add music in the background. Because I watched these Fortnite videos and there was just so much music that just went so perfectly with this hit situation. And back background music, it was so perfect. So I just went on to my music app to search, search up a few music shit. And I didn't know anything about TikTok then. I'm pretty sure TikTok was a thing. I didn't know anything about it. Because none of my friends really had it that back, back, back then. Some of them did, but they didn't really say anything about it. And, you know, I always added music. And it, and it was just so overly stupid. And I had a bad e e editing sis system then. And mine's mine's pretty damn good. Like, like I like the one I have now. It is good for, um, for mobile. And, yeah. I always had music, but then I realized why. Why do I, why do I add music? It's just not needed. It's so unneeded. Like sometimes it's very much needed, and which is so I'm so glad that I have background music now. It's like the, what is it? It's uh, it's a certain YouTuber SB seven three seven. It's his Minecraft series background music, and I will still be baffled about how he still turns a hundred days into. 30 to 20 minutes, but that's still a mystery to me. Um, I'll wait, I'll, wait, does he? Or, or maybe it's like an hour. I don't even know. I haven't watched the videos in quite a while. Like a month, maybe. Not even. Three weeks. So yeah. Um, then I went on to not doing as much music, but I thought I had to post so much. So this is what I used to do. I used to record a video. Then I would edit that video and record another video. Before I even posted the video that I first edited. So, edit video is where this finger is. And this over here is where I recorded a video. So, this is a, a edited, recorded video. Newly edited, newly re recorded video. So, now I have an edited video that's been recorded that I haven't posted. And now I have a new re re recording that I haven't edited and I haven't posted. See where that kind of gets, uh, that kind of gets bad. You want to know why that that gets bad? Space issues. Because when I edit a video, sometimes I don't save it, and you need room to save a video, so it obviously be, be, becomes a new video. It takes the edited clips and turns it into one whole video. Now, what you might realize is my old videos used to be long as hell. These things used to be 40 to 30 minutes. And back then, my upload speed was trash. So what you might think about is, is 40 minutes was about 5 hours of uploading time. 5 hours. And sometimes what you might think is my space is on the brim of extinction. And what was I about to say? I'm losing my train of thought here. There, there was also 
another problem with pre-recording a, a video be before I've edited the original edit. There was also another thing wrong with it, where I edited a video and then recorded it again. All right, well, I'll probably do another rant, but yeah, I used to overuse music, and I used to pre-record -re -re videos a little bit too much. Actually, yes, very too much. What? Yakami Washington, Adobe Stock. Oh, it's the background. Okay, um, yeah, but, um... Yeah, um, this is the video. If you guys want to do like and sub, if you guys want to enjoy, make sure to leave a like or or so subscribe. Either one is awesome. And you can subscribe to my second channel, Banana Bros Gaming Two. You will know what it is when you see it. It says Banana Bros Gaming and Two on it. It's on an angle and it's a green letters. Um, I doubt you've made it this far into the video, because this is a 36-minute video, but if you have, be a legend and go subscribe to my second channel. I do Minecraft streams there. I do, I'm doing a hardcore Mi Minecraft world stream, which I died three times in. Like, not in the, in the same world, I mean, like, I've made three individual worlds and died in them. So, I'm making a new one after... I record my Valorant video, which is going to be tomorrow, and then I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to post it the next day after this one's uploaded, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, goodbye.